and I really felt like it looked outdated. And I didn't like that at all. Are you struggling with limited space in your backyard? Like, you know you want to entertain and host parties, but you're like, there's no way I can have what I want and do all of that. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can transform our spaces through a real life example with our clients, Steve and Jen. This is something that you can absolutely take with you. Lots of pro tips. How much does this stuff cost? What are some of the challenges? You're gonna actually hear from Steve and Jen and some of their concerns and what they were going through. And I'm gonna drop a serious mistake that I see contractors and landscape designers make over and over that is super detrimental to you. So you make sure you stick around at the end of the video because that is the biggest key to all of this. We gotta make sure that you get what you want. So if you like badass backyard renovations, then hit subscribe, buckle in, and let's go on a tour right now. All right, so this one is near and dear to my heart. A lot of time had gone into this. This was Gosh, an eight month process for various reasons, but I wanna give you a little tour of this backyard space. This is an incredible backyard space. The idea was to create more or less a retreat. Before it was an upper level, wasn't utilized, a lot of hodgepodge in this going on. Didn't even have this lower level down here. It was just woods and it's like, why not try and utilize that space so that we can really create an ambiance and one heck of a party zone. So first off, We've got a focal point here. This is a fire pit that is dead center. You can see it from their sunroom, as well as it leads your eye right to the lower level space that's got a sono system, it's got a TV, it's got all kinds of cool lighting. It's a lean-to style down there. That is the spot. Over here, you've got another spot where you can hang out, have dinners, relax. You see all of this space going on. There's plenty of room for future plants, pots, whatever bodies right you probably have 100 people back here and no, it, it would be fine and i love this because our client loves to garden so what did we do we created some steps and have an intimate little cedar box garden space where they got tomatoes they got herbs they got peppers things they can use in their salad another way where this could have just been kind of forgotten and left unsaid and now there's something really cool that can be used in their dinners Finally, have landscape undercap lights under everything. So at night, this lights up like a spaceship. But the best part is, all of a sudden, by bringing this back and working the elevation, we created a seating wall. So I talked about having a lot of people here. Well, it's pretty easy because this whole entire wall can be used as seating on top of any furniture that you got. So you got this guy, You've got the flared out stairs that are literally about eight feet in length here and then shrink up to about five to six. And then you've got another seating wall that goes all the way down. Let's go down to the bottom level. So I love this because you take the stairs and all the stairs have built in lights. We had to frame all this out and then pour around the lights so that at night, when you're going up here, you're never gonna take a header because it was thought of Prior to all this, everything here started with the design. You get that design hammered down and then boom, you can start to create a paradise. This is the best part of the whole place. We got a huge lean-to style structure, TV built in. It's got a Sonos system. It's got can lights. Everything's on a dimmer. You got ceiling fans, pretty much the works, right? And then as far as over here, we relocated all the pool equipment that used to be up there and we put it here. And the final phase of this job that we are working on is we're gonna put some paneling in here, here and here, so you don't see the pool equipment. So everything here was thought of, planned, and became this outdoor paradise. So we were li limited on the amount of space we had in the backyard. We had the old pavers unlevel. They had the paver stones that were you know, sagging, so you couldn't even keep a table on it. So we, what we needed was, we, we knew that we needed concrete, we needed a bigger space. We needed something bigger, because we like to entertain, and we have the space now. We went from limited spot to three levels of entertainment. We have the top level for games, basketball, ping pong. You know, you can put bag tournaments up there. And we got pool level, where all the adults can sit together, observe the kids, and then we have the lower level for the sports games, the entertainment. We could have music. We got the sound system that rocks, clear, awesome sound, and 
we can get together to watch baseball games, hockey games. It's almost all year round, except in St. Louis, we're just limited to, you know, a couple months. Other than that, we're out here most of the time. So for me, one of the things that I was really struggling with was the actual pool itself. It had the brick around it and they were starting to break from the kids playing and I really felt like it looked outdated. All of the walls that are around were also out further so it made it really you know not a lot of room for the kids to run around or you know do what they wanted to do as well as for us to play as adults. We also had a fireplace right here and while the fireplace looked beautiful it put off really zero heat so there really wasn't much use for it. Now we have a place for people to gather and the, you can feel the heat coming off from here. 360. What we ended up with was, is absolutely so modern and absolutely beautiful. All right, so let's put a bow on this thing. What I want you to learn from Steve and Jen are a few things. First thing is, I absolutely love Jen. She knows what she wants. She knew that her place was outdated. She didn't like this and this, and she let me know about it. Be decisive as a client, for sure. Let the designer, let the contractor know what you want so everything is crystal clear. This is why we get a design, but at the same time, when you have a project this big, there's a lot of bells and whistles, a lot of things that go on. Have those daily check-ins, have things where you are on the same page. It's very, very important. So from cosmetics, first thing is work elevations. You saw that there were three levels of entertainment is what Steve called it. And I think it's so important. A lot of times when you've got a steep backyard or you've got hills and this and that, we, we feel limited to the space that all of a sudden it becomes flat. Maybe that's what it is. You can push those areas back. This is where those retaining walls got clever. It created so much more room and seating opportunities. Second thing is find those hidden gems. You saw that area behind the fence that was just yucky woods with the trampoline, bam. There you go. Look how much room we freed up. And now they have this lower level with an outdoor structure. One thing I will say, make sure you don't have an easement. Get a survey, make sure. We actually had a 10 foot easement on this thing. I had to sit before a board and have all three board members pass it and get all six utility companies to sign off on it. it took about eight weeks. We don't talk about things like that, but you need to know that. If we had built that and didn't get clearance, they could just rip that out, uh-oh. Big problem, that's a no-no. The last thing is, consider a fire pit over a fireplace. Fireplaces are pretty cool looking, but they're not very functional. Jen just said it, you know, they don't put off a lot of heat. Man, are they a big investment. Those things are expensive. Fire pits are so much cheaper. You get 360 around it. They put off the heat, they look awesome. You could even make it into a table like we did. Consider that. But if you know you want a fireplace, we're gonna get to that in a minute. Okay, how much does this cost? This is a big project with a lot of variables, but you're gonna be anywhere between 150 and 175. You put the pool in, the pool was already there, you're at two and a quarter to 250. Now, if you want a detailed analysis of all that, this is where those consultations and designs come in. I could get through all that, but just know, if you want this kind of big backyard, you gotta pay for it. There's a lot of stuff and it just costs a lot of money. Last thing is, what is the big miss? What is the big mistake? Here's what it is. They interviewed a couple of different companies, a couple of different designers. And when a designer comes in and says, well, what do you want? That's kind of a red flag, in my opinion. That's the first thing. The other kind of designer is, oh, well, we could do this, 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 and this, which is great. You want them to bring their creativity and their vision, their ideas, and you're not holding all the answers. But the problem that I heard was that Jen and Steve didn't feel listened to. It's almost like they brought other projects that they had done into their backyard out of convenience and weren't really listening to what they wanted. So if you've got somebody there and they seem to not be connecting the dots with what you want and they're kind of pushing their ideas on, it's not really lining up, that's probably not the company for you or the designer for you. The reason this matters so much is if you want to get what you want, don't let people push you around. Don't let them have the say, especially when you're shelling out a bunch of money. So that is the big miss. And it, it, it seems subtle, but it happens all the time. It happens all the time. And at the end of the rainbow, it's a nice looking product, but maybe it's not what you really wanted. Don't get that. 
Don't fall into that. We talked about a fireplace. If you do want a fireplace and it seems to make sense, go watch this video right here. This is an awesome backyard analysis with a fireplace, an outdoor room, and